Hey, this is Father Robert from Gadget at the Techstop.net, the place where it's always time to get your geek on. We're here at CES at the Clear Booth. I'm here with Antone. Antone Porter. Antone Porter. You got it. And uh, he's going to tell us about some of the exciting things that Clear has brought to the show. What is this? So you're talking about Clear. We're an IP internet operator, and we're deploying an 4G network that's using the WiMAX technology. So some of you may have heard it. We're launched in 27 markets just this year uh, into the 2009 time frame covering 30 million people. We look to cover 120 million just by the end of this year. Now I've heard WiMAX before and it's, it's normally in the context of rolling out WiMAX or maybe WiMAX will be here or possibly something might be compatible with WiMAX. You're saying WiMAX has arrived. WiMAX is here today and now, and as I mentioned, in 27 different markets such as Dallas, Chicago, Las Vegas, where we are right now, everything that you've seen in our booth is operating over the live commercial network where customers are using today. Uh, we're talking about Portland, uh, Atlanta, uh, Waco, Killeen. So we're talking a number of different critical markets, and we've got lots more coming just in the 2010, 2010 year. Now, you know, people know wireless, and normally what they know about wireless is something like the iPhone sure. with its 3G network, which frankly is kind of abysmal. Now what would be the difference? Why would someone get excited about a 4G or a Wi-Fi network when 3G doesn't seem to be working except in loose pockets around the country? Sure. For, let me first, by not disparaging 3G, 3G yes. is an excellent technology yes. and most carriers have a ubiquitous network. Mm -hmm. But the thing that you just held up, you know, I've got yeah. a Blackberry, you've got the yeah. iPhone. The difference is, is that these guys have a fixed platform. They are in what we call the walled garden. You set your applications to this device, everything is governed by the device form factor, the chipsets that go in this device. What 4G and what Clear is looking to do and what we have done is taken that wall garden down and said we're device agnostic. Of course our okay. initial targets are devices like modems, PCs, and connection cards, but again we've got an innovation network that is really eager to invite developers to develop to a network and service level, not just down to a device. Devices are very, very critical, but we look to have a proliferation of many different types of form factors. WiMAX, for example, this car right here, is, we use this all the time to showcase mobility. We've got an in PC that does telemetry, uh, it does navigation, it sends reporting of your vehicle diagnostics, and more importantly it gets to the internet wherever you are, and the power of mobility is what it really pushes because you can be going highway, interstate speeds, and not drop a packet. So when you think about what's so exciting around Clear and what we're doing and all those markets I mentioned is bringing true broadband over WiMAX, our 4G product, and mobility and tying those together. So when you need to be mobile, when you need to be portable, or if you need to be stationary or fixed, yeah. we've got the right answer for that. Well, because 4G WiMAX was designed from the ground up to be an IP network. All you, IP network. You fantastic. Got so there's, there, you don't have to do any uh, sort of adapting or changing of the protocol. It's, it's there. It's designed, designed for you to work with any device that wants to talk to you. To us, a packet is a packet. Whether that's a voice packet or true data session packet, voice packet, it really doesn't matter because we invite you to bring your data services to the table, leverage the services that we offer you. And being an all, P, all IP network gives us, a, a, again, a very clean, robust, fast, scalable network where we're not competing trying to say, okay, is voice more of a priority or data? Is data a better priority than voice? It's really P, all IP through and through. If, if somebody wanted to find out more about Clear and how they, they can get the service, how they can benefit from it, how they can get their access, where sure. should they go? They need to go to clear.com, www.clear.com. It'll give you everything from device, price plan, launch locations, and where cities are open to service near you. Uh, and again, I, I didn't even focus on our price plan. Highly competitive. Oh, yeah. We so give actually, tell me a little bit about that. Absolutely. So when you think about what you'd get in a 3G world and any other service, whether it be satellite or cable, you're tied into a contract. We have rate plans or price plans that don't require contracts. You can lease the product, you can purchase the product, you can get grandfathered in by doing a pick two promotion that gives you the choice to get two products for the price of one. And then if you don't like our service, go month to month. You know, if it doesn't work for you, I mean, we're trying to be as flexible for our customers and consumers uh, as possible. And we have that benefit because, again, we're a very lean, all IP network. Again, we don't, we don't have to inventory these, these devices like a lot of the 3G companies do. Uh, again, we invite the manufacturers to come and build to a standard. WiMAX is a standard by the IEEE. That brings significant value when you think about Wi-Fi. You can't buy a laptop today or a consumer electronics device today, not very many, that don't have Wi-Fi embedded. That is our vision. And when you go down that path 
it makes things a lot easier from a price point standpoint because you get more competition. It lets the small guy compete with the big guy. It levels the playing field. Cost structures come down. Cost structures come down for our company. We transfer those costs onto our customers, which is why we can say we want to go non, no contract, competitive price plans, give you many more megabits for your buck. Well, you want to give people affordable high-speed connectivity. Absolutely. That makes us happy. Absolutely. Thank you, Anton. My Thank pleasure. you very much. And you stay tuned because we're not done with you yet. CES 2010 continues. And remember, there's no Uber geek without you.